Hello, and welcome back to AJM Learn. So today I want to talk to you about the form on the sites, uh, making them way more custom. Squarespace has blessed us with many, many, many more settings on this. So let's dive in. And then, of course, at the end, I will show you a few CSS options, although it's not really needed anymore, which is pretty crazy. Um, you know, I'm always looking for ways to add CSS, but they've done a pretty good job with this one. All right, so I've added just a basic form to the site. Click on it, click the pencil, go over to the design tab, and then we'll dive in from here. So if you are a frequent user of Squarespace, you've probably noticed, I, you know, this is being recorded early 2024. So as of a few months ago, we got these options to start changing the way the form looks, which is awesome. Um, it actually took me a moment to realize we could edit form styles more here. Uh, I was just so excited about these. I was like, awesome, cool. Um, so we'll hop back into that in just a moment. Real quick, you can change your button style here. These do, of course, correlate with your set primary, secondary, and button styles. They prompt you to go edit those if needed. You know, change your alignment, all that kind of thing. Um, if you want to make it a light box, this becomes a totally different um, tutorial, so we won't do that. I do love adding a background. Um, I think adding a background looks super, super nice. So that's also a great option. And you can, of course, adjust the background color, uh, corner radius, padding, all of that. All right. And for the sake of this, I'll just take that off. Okay. So hop back into form style and go to edit form styles. So this is pretty similar to how they are approaching fonts. You know how you can kind of like fix pick a font pack. You can switch between them, but you can also custom edit. So these are just kind of your quick picks, um, but you can get way more detailed here. So your field shape, you can choose one of the usuals. You could do some custom corners if you wanted to do something a little crazy. You can choose whether the fields are filled or not. Of course, that would then bring in a border. When they are filled, you can do border, no border change the padding of everything. Remember always if you click the ellipses, you can get um, a lot more detailed kind of toggles here for spacing stuff. We'll go just go back to large for now. Um, okay, this is where it starts getting pretty detailed, which is cool. So field options, um, I've added these here so we can see them. You can change the shape of these now. So check boxes are typically this square. Um, Maybe if you have more rounded edges on your site, let's just change those to rounded. You can, of course, always still do custom corners. You can make that not filled or filled. You can change the border thickness, change the size, all of that here. Um, change the spacing between icon and text. I just like love that they've made this a little more interesting. Let me go ahead and check one to show you this. So selection color can be normal or inverted. I really like inverted. And this is what I'm most excited about is you can either stack or fit. This makes your um, forms way less tall. If you have like, have you ever had one where you have just all these options on checkboxes? This is really going to save so much space. And then you can, of course, like adjust the space between rows and columns. Once you get a ton in here, that would be really helpful. Um, oops, let me get back in here, actually. Um, you can also change it to a button. So this is pretty cool if you have like, Oh, you know, just a few options. This would display really nicely. If you have a ton of options, this might, I don't know, depending on the use case, it might be a little bit confusing, but I love the option. All right. So going back to radio buttons, remember with radio buttons, you can only select one at a time, whereas checkboxes, someone could select multiples. So I just want to be aware of making that obvious. You can change the shape of this. For me, radio buttons, again, uh, people see the circle and kind of think of them that way. So I like to keep this and I do like to flip the selection color to inverted here as well. And once again, you can do fit instead of stack. Like look how much cleaner that looks, so much better. Um, you can again change these to buttons. Uh, could be really cool in certain applications. I really, really like that option. All right, and then same kind of similar stuff for surveys. Uh, obviously you don't have the option for buttons, but just the basic shape options and everything here. All right, so hopping back over fonts, these, I'm so excited. I used to use so much CSS for these and I'll actually show you the CSS for them still, but you can individually change the title font and the description font, just everything here so we're not having to use CSS for every single little tweak we wanna do. So we can totally come in here, get rid of paragraph, go to custom, be like, okay, I want this bolder, I want it you know, bigger, 
whatever. So that's super exciting that we can do that now. Colors, um, as usual on a site that this might be switched off, in which case I really don't know where the colors are coming from. Um, but if you toggle it on, you know, okay, I'm on light one, light one, you can start uh, tweaking all of this. So instead of, okay, it's light gray right now, maybe I want the background to be like this light blue. And I want the field border to be a brighter blue or whatever. So you can come in here and start editing all of this, your buttons, your fields, etc. cetera. Um, it gets, oops, pretty detailed down here with your, you know, all your text options are here. I know I'm just randomly choosing colors. It's stressing me out too because they don't like perfectly match, but eh, it looks kind of cute. So you can do everything here now without CSS, which we love you CSS, but it is nice to have these native features. All right, so I think, oh, and then last, of course, is spacing. You can just get really, really tweaky with these, um, you know, more space below the caption, which is like the first name, last name, below the label, et cetera. So you can just get really specific with these if you wanted to create more or less space. Um, so that is it with our built-in styles. Next, I'll just show you really quickly how to make some adjustments with CSS. Pop over into our CSS panel. Let me get all of my other CSS out of the way. How rude. We're trying to work here. Okay, so let's hop in here and I will show you CSS and really tell you more about the use case for it. Okay, so I'm pasting this over directly from the post, the correlating post. Of course, it looks a little crazy when you paste it in, but, and generally the styling of this looks nuts. I just wanted to pick some stuff that looked really obvious. Um, so you have a lot of the same settings here, like title font, description font, et cetera, adding a border, which unless I'm mistaken, I don't think is an option on the form. We can add that background, but I didn't see a border option. So this one is still a really great piece of CSS to have in your back pocket, um, field boxes, et cetera. The real reason that I kind of even kept this as an option is if you want to edit forms one by one. So for example, if all the forms on your site look one way, but you really want this one form to look completely different, you could you know, use our favorite code block uh, finder. You could you know, either target an entire section or just this actual block. And I have more info on this in the post, but you can start actually just popping in before each bit of CSS. You can pop in that, this is so messy, obviously, because it's pasted in. But you can start popping in that block ID and it'll only start targeting just this form. So now you're not stuck with this like one style you've set. Of course, you can adjust colors based on um, your different uh, color styles, um, but all of your fonts and outlines and rounding and all of that stuff is universal when you set it. So this is a great way to target different forms if need be. So that's why we kept the CSS in there. Check it out. Hope you guys enjoy and thank you Squarespace for a good update.